Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. <sighs> Let's move on to the next stage. Giant metal spider. Creeping ghost butlers. This thing could be deeper than anyone guessed. Maybe. Might be time for a change of costume. Oh, what's this? Change of costume, you say? The ninja training ground. That's right. One of the reasons this game is freaking awesome. We get to play as a ninja duck. What what could be more awesome than that? I don't I don't even know. Collect some loot here and oh, what the heck's this? Some tiki dude. He's got a shaman mask thingy. And what the heck he's zapping things out of us. Stop that. Are you like splitting my soul or something? I don't like this. Uh, anyways, wah, we're a ninja-like, and we have a staff, and we're blindfolded, because we don't need eyes. We're a ninja. Ninjas don't need their eyes. What are you talking about? So, yeah, as you can see in the upper right corner there, instead of a bug gun thing, we've got us... Uh, stupid. Uh, anyways, we've got some coins that we're collecting here, and, uh, basically, the more coins you have, the higher of a, uh, ninja belt you can have, you get. And the higher your ninja belt, the more fancy ninja moves you can pull off. And I'm getting my ass handed to me. Yeah, I'm, I suck hardcore fighting these ninja dudes. It's just the way it is. I don't know. They're just shitty. Oh, come on. Uh, so, anyways, ninja mechanics. We've got a staff. Somehow, if you attack these glowing eye head thingies, they'll, I don't know, I guess bite onto your staff and freaking get out of here. And uh, you can swing from them, so that's cool. And uh, there's some other stuff you can do, which I'll show off in a minute here, after I take care of this stone tiki dude spitting things at me. Uh, I suppose this is a training ground, so we have to train. And yes, let's go into this giant stone statue and control it for ourselves. <laughs> and then he spits us out. So, anyways, other mechanic, you can, uh, do this. Latch onto walls here, which you can use to climb around. Uh, hitting these things, they're switches, so they'll open up hidden areas, like this. So you can get lots of extra stuff. This is one of the main ways you're gonna be collecting, uh, loot in this level, is you're gonna have to find these hidden areas, and jump on disappearing platforms, which I hate with a passion. But we'll deal with them. Like that stuff. I don't think there's really anything else we can do in here, so warp out. Whoa! And let's jump up here, dodge this guy. I guess we can hit the switch. Why not? Something will appear somewhere. We can get up here. There's just a ninja coin though, which we don't really need, so I'm gonna bypass it. Uh, I don't want to deal with that loot either. Let's just swing on. Fighting more of these dudes and getting into the big dude's mouth. Whoop. Haha. -ha. <laughs> we get some nice murals up here, or carvings, or I'm not really sure what they are, but they're something and they're cool and they have a duck kicking some ass. And apparently kicking someone in the balls. And poking someone's eyes. Yeah, this game is ridiculous. It's awesome though. Wah, fee, fi, fo, fa. I am the giant duck of doom. Ah. We're getting battered with rain, apparently. And yet we will not get wet, ever. It seems kind of odd, now that I think about it. This whole water thing. Because you can't really... In this game, you can't really swim. Yet we're a duck. Ooh, hidden stuff. Ooh, more stuff. But yeah, you, we're a duck, but we can't swim. But yeah, we seem to be fine with water, since we're, like, sticking out here in the rain and such. Although maybe we're just fine with the rain, because... You know what? Death move of death. The death move isn't even useful, but what the heck. Whatever. Um, anyways, I should explain, whenever you use more than just a normal attack, you can see that your coins will go down by 10 every time. Although, that doesn't really matter, because you'll get plenty of coins. So don't even... And I'll hit 
house of way. loot and swinging from things. Ooh, extra life. Yeah, lives are... I don't know. They're not going to be very useful until, like, the very end of the game. Probably. I don't know. Well, actually, I lied. Never mind. There's maybe one other level that, uh, you'll really need extra lives. But other than that, you probably won't need them until, like, the last level. Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see, we have to collect coins. And there we go. Press the right button will be good. You have to have ninja coins to be able to come a ninja, so that, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. The coins have magical powers, I'm assuming. I'm just going to bypass you. Eh, I missed some treasure, but oh well. I like using this, uh, duck attack, by the way, because it has a little more range than, uh, your normal swipe. These guys. You have to fight an extra one every time you, uh, there we go, come up against one. So first you fight two, and three, and four. Pretty simple stuff. What are those pillars made out of? They're like the vanquished foes of the ninja ducks, or something. I don't know. I suppose it's just supposed to be grand and epicness. Which works. And nothing up there. Uh, we need to hit a switch to get in there. I think there's a ninja point back here. I'm going to ignore this green belt because he's being obnoxious. Uh, and I'm going to die in the process, apparently. Before, I, I, I probably should have just fought him, but oh well. Up we go. Hopefully there's some health nearby. Probably not. Um, I don't think the switch opens up the area down there. I think it opens up somewhere else, but... Oh, health! Get the health! Swing on the thingy! Yes! We're doing good now, doing good. Oh, uh, disagree. Oh. Screw you. Disagree platform, I don't need the health extension anyways. Uh, watch out for these things, because they, yeah, spikes appear, or spears, I suppose. Not fun. Don't want to be impaled. And, huzzah. Uh, there's a switch I think I missed to activate this little swingy thingy that will, uh, get you up thereabouts. But, eh, we're collecting enough loot, it should be fine. Dead. And, get this stuff up here, just for whatever. Collecting lots of jewels. Man, I'm always gonna be freaking rich after he gets done with this adventure here with all the loot he's finding. Seriously, gold, diamonds, magic lamps. We've collected like 50 magic lamps. We're gonna have like. Pressing the right button is good. There we go. Anyways, yeah. Magic. There's another one. We're gonna have like genie powers all around us. Uh, I think there's some stuff to get up here. With some nice swinging action. Uh, don't die. Okay. This, uh, the Ninja Training Grounds, I think, is my least favorite level, just because there's a lot of obnoxious platforming everywhere. I don't mind platforming, I just don't mind, I don't like obnoxious platforming, which is what this kind of ends up being. And there was nothing in there. You know what, I'm just going to move on here. Oh, wait, what's up here? Oh, some place I cannot get to right now. I think I know how to... Uh, yeah. I'm being indecisive. Let's get this stuff. Let's just do it. Get up there, Maui. Alright, so now we go back down here. That presumably, yeah, that opens that up. We can hit the switch. We can go back up if you want to, like, go all the way around again to collect that loot. But, eh, enough of that. Let's get on the swinging platform of spikes and leaves. Oh, yeah. I didn't mention this or show this, but uh, if you kind of sit here for a few seconds. You'll kind of, uh, do some fancy moves. Uh, if you'd actually do something cool here. Come on, that's fine. I'll show it later. Anyways, he'll, like, flip his staff around and do fancy stuff. I want this life, or maybe I don't want it. Never mind. There, he was just about to do it. Anyways, yeah, you'll do f cool, fancy little moves. If you kind of just chill out. You do it as, a uh, normal Maui, I guess you could call him, too. But, uh... Yeah, they're usually not quite as fancy because you're kind of lame. You spin your gun around, that's about it. 
I thought I think sometimes you can shoot yourself in the foot. It doesn't like damage you or anything, but it's just silly. Uh yeah, I'm done with this level. No moss. Oh, what's this? Glowing red orb. Ooh, hey there. Howie. The legend foretells only a great warrior will save us. Not you. Hey. Look at me. Don't get involved. You'll just ruin everything like always. I disagree. This is your only warning. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Stuck in some anima animation there. Anyways, yeah, look, we already have enough loot to get to the bonus stage, so it matters not. And here we go, boss stage. This boss is... Eh, it can be obnoxious, but, uh... I don't know, you'll see. It has two parts, as do most bosses. The first part here is we have to fight a bunch of these minions. Uh, as you can see, one of those little sign, signal sign whatever engravings lit up red. We have to make all of them light up by defeating ninjas, and of course it gets progressively harder. So, first you have to fight one red, then one purple, and then two green at the same time. Oh no! And it goes on and on. I like to just stick on this platform here and uh, use this crouch attack. That seems to work the best. Uh, some, what are these guys, silver belts? I don't know, that's what I always thought, although I guess white would make more sense, but that doesn't seem right, because white's supposed to be, like, level one, so I guess they're silver belts, but what the heck is this silver belt? Well, whatever. Anyways, now we have to fight these new purple guys. As you can see, they're kind of glowing and flashing. I'm um, not sure if they'll... There we go. Yeah, they have electrical powers that will try and shock you, which is stupid, but whatever. It's not too hard to dodge, because they're... It's pretty easy to see when they're going to attack. It's telegraphed pretty nicely. It'll give you plenty of time to counter it. Unfortunately, these guys on the other hand, these black belts, they do something similar. They'll uh, shoot fire at you. But it is much harder to dodge. It's pretty much instant. And it has good height, so you can't... Yeah, it's kind of cheap, but... Ah, oof. That was close. But yeah, do that and you're done with them. And then this thing bounces out and we have to deal with a giant saw blade of death. Yeah, it's actually a lot more intimidating than you would think because it just it's going to follow this little uh, infinity pattern here. And that's all it's going to do. So you can kind of just chase it around and then yeah, done, easy. You can jump up on those uh, upper side platforms too, but uh, it is usually not worth the effort. Oof, barely made it, but we still gotten a ticket. We gotten the uh, tickets. Yeah, eh, we still get this. Same thing. We already saw it. It does. It says the same thing as last time. So let's go with this awesome jazzy music here. Uh, I'm pretty sure. All well, actually, I'm not pretty sure. I am sure that all these uh, bonus areas are laid out the same every time, so... I don't have them memorized, unfortunately, because they usually don't pay too much attention to them. Because, like I said, I already have all the passwords, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah. Keep in mind that they are all the same. Uh, that little Tiki guy I collected, by the way, I collected one earlier, too, uh, is, will grant you an extra continue. And basically, what that means is, like, normally when you run out of lives, uh, you'll have a chance to continue from where you left off and start with three lives again, I think it is. But, uh, ooh. Let's pass this guy up. Anyways, normally you can only do that once. Uh, uh shoot, no! This always happens. Fall to the very bottom. Anyways, if you collect more of those Tiki guys, you'll be able to, uh, actually, you'll be able to do it more than once, so they're nice to collect. Also, uh, should be noted that you can only, it'll only show nine lives when you have nine lives, but you can actually have more than nine lives, it just won't show it, so. I could have, like, 15 lives, and whenever I, I died, it would just, you wouldn't show, uh, the lives decreasing until I got below nine. Anyways, there's the password for, uh, this level if you want it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode later.